Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are featuring a Squale. Now this is one of the 1521 range of uh, their watches but this is the limited edition Marine Metalla. So there's only 500 of these models actually being available worldwide and I think they've really done a good job with the colorway. I think that it really does look quite smart in this color. It really, you know, it has that certain pop to it. Now, I've reviewed, as I say, a few of these and I've always been quite impressed really. I think they look a lot of watch for the money. Now, when it comes to money, I've had people asking other videos how much certain watches cost. Well, I always leave a link in the description to First Class Watches. You can find them on there. I don't always give the price because the simple fact is they may be on special offer. This one at the moment is... I think it's 1350 but I know there's a 15% discount code available, so you can get it for about 1150 give or take. But anyway, talking of first-class watches, strongly recommend Vistum. They've been real superstars to the channel. If you're based in the Midlands area, I would strongly recommend visiting the shop. If you're a little bit further afield, well, don't worry, I'll leave a link in the description below and at the bottom of the page. All I ask is that you please mention the channel. So anyway, sizes of this one. We are talking a fraction under 42 mil, about 41.7, I think. Now, do be aware the bezel does overhang on this model, so it actually feels a little bit smaller on the wrist than the actual sizes would say. The thickness of the watch was coming in at 12.8 mil. The lug to lug was 48.3, and the strap size on this one is 20 millimeters. Now, the dial, I think, just looks lovely on this watch. I say I like the colours. I think they are good. You've got this kind of satin finish um, to the actual dial. You, it, it has got a sunburst effect going on there. And I like the way that you can see a shadow of the hand going on. You know, actually reflecting back onto the dial. I always think it gives the dial a little bit of depth. And what's really nice, at certain angles, you see those applied hour markers just pop. I always think it gives it a more premium feel when you can see that. The hands are all white. You do have the orange insert here and the orange tip to the second hand there. Now I must say, the loom does look pretty impressive, not only on the doll, but also the complete bezel. The bezel is fully loomed as well, and it is bi-loomed. So you've actually got yellow and green, the same two with the hands. Um, the only disappointing thing is it's not the longest lasting of looms, which is a real shame really, because it would be nice to see them up their game a little bit and apply better loom to the actual watch. You do have the date over here, the three o'clock position. I think they maybe might have overdone it a little bit with the amount of markers going on on the minute track and possibly they could have done better by, you know, keeping the markers on the actual uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 longer and maybe the ones in between a little bit shorter, but I'm being nitpicky on that one. So anyway, as we come past the dial, we do have this flat sapphire crystal going on there. There is AR coating on it, as you can see, it does do a pretty good, riff. yeah, you can see a slight blue haze to it, and that's the AR. Uh, it does a good way of sort of like stopping too much reflection, making your watch easier to read in bright sunlight. The bezel itself, as I say, looks really good. I like this aluminium insert they've got here with the different colors. Now, let's have a quick listen to the bezel check. Very, very clicky. Does it have any back plate? Yeah, a little bit. But let's see, does it actually line up properly? Yep, it does spot on, no problems at all. You've got a coin edge bezel arrangement going on there, so it makes it easy to grip. As you can see, these small screws enable you to, well, it's, it's a more elegant way of sort of like removing the bezel. You just undo these screws and you should be able to pop this bezel off. It makes it a far better way, I think, than a case knife used on many, many other brands. But overall, I say great, no problem with that. One thing I should point out is this has got 500 meters of water resistance to the actual watch. So it is in, yeah, you're never ever gonna use that, but it's nice to know it's got it. The actual casework of the watch we do have this kind of brushwork going on here we have vertical brushwork going on there and we have this nice polished section section i should just tying up my words now i should say now as you can see there's a really good curvature to this watch so even though the lugs are a little bit long well they're not 
at so bad. Because of this curvature, it fits the wrist nicely. So as it goes on the wrist, it really hunkers down, which is a real benefit to this case design. I think it really does kind of look good. Now, on this side, we do have this flat spot here and that we do have the crown at the four o'clock position. And as you can see, it is a proper screw down crown. Boom. Yeah, nice pop to it there and it is signed. A little bit awkward to manipulate and get back in because it is so well protected with the actual lug there. So, you know, I'm not going to yeah, query that. That's really kind of uh, sits there nice and solid, which is how you want it to really. Now, as we turn it around on the back there, we do have this solid case back. Now, they are all numbered up so you know which one you're getting, which is a nice touch. Underneath there, it features the Solita SW200 movement. Now, I put this one on the time grapper and it was doing a very, very respectable job. It was coming in at plus four seconds a day, which is absolutely spot on and within chronometer specs, to be fair. The movement itself has, is, has got 20, 26 joules. Um, I always say that, but I don't know if everyone understands what they're there for. They're actually the wear points for where the any of the sort of like the gear train, the barrel and so forth, where it connects with the plate. And it enables you to have an oil, um, an actual oil port on there. It also stops wear. Um, because if it's just metal on metal, you'd wear in both surfaces. The jewels are incredibly strong. So it, it stops wear to the main case. So just in case you wonder what I'm, I'm on about when I say about jewels. It's got 38 hours worth of power reserve to it as well. So perfectly good enough to put down for a day and pick up. You will not have a problem with this watch. Now, one thing I should point out, if I zoom out a little bit here, is the case it comes in. It comes in this really nice little case here. And inside the case, you also get a spare rubber strap. Now, the strap already on the watch is this kind of, like it looks like a carbon type strap. It is so beautifully made. It looks really, really nice. The buckle is a very shiny affair, I must admit. Fix, one fixed keeper and one floater. But you also get this one here. I haven't actually opened this. Uh, I won't bother actually, I'll, but you've got a nice rubber strap on there, possibly more resilient for if you want to take this watch in the water, I would possibly swap it over onto this one. Let me put this on my wrist so you've got a good idea how it looks. Quick wrist check, I'm wearing the new Zim 104, uh, sorry, new, the Zim 104 on the new adjustable clasp. And Bob, Bob's got one of my old watches on here. This is a Seiko Mini Alpinist on a Zin strap. Yes, have I ever done a Zin thing? Quite possibly. Now my wrist size is seven and a quarter inches. Uh, works out to roughly 18.5 centimeters. So you'll get an idea how it looks and that's it on my wrist. I think personally, it just looks a cracking watch. Really does look the part, I think. Um, let me know in the comments below if it's a watch you guys would pick up. But I think for the money, especially if you get it at a discounted rate, I think this is just a super watch for money. And see what I mean about the lugs making it hunker down onto the wrist. So that is just a very, very good case design. I think it's solid. Anyway, guys, I will leave you to it for that. But most importantly, stay safe up here. Take care. Bye.